this took the same amount of time that it took me to dig out this and put a couple gleam blocks down for markers. This couldn't have been 20 minutes. Hey, 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 all you wonderful, wonderful people. Scratch here, back again with a bit more Boundless. Now, it seems that my strange upload schedule, or probably more accurately, the lack thereof, is a running theme uh, with my channel. So I truly do apologize, and I really, really don't know the etiquette of the YouTubes. Sorry. Uh, as I continue to attempt improvement at my YouTubing endeavors, please tell me in the comments below if you have any suggestions on what I could do better. Uh, telling me to suck less, Giggity, may be tempting and probably more amusing, but unfortunately not as constructive. Now, this episode, we're going to get together with our good friend Pseudonym, and attempt at some building. We're gonna check out the progress on Eleportus, and of course we're gonna see this awesome, awesome build from our neighbors in Europe. So without further ado, let's scratch on. We have, I mean, we have red leaves, right? That, someone put red leaves down? That is so nice. Ah, did he beacon it off? Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sweet, sweet. Of neighbors to pseudonym, yay! <laughs> awesome. Ah, uh, he's doing his thing again. This is, this is awesome. Now, remember how I said I, a few episodes back for anyone who was watching, I was making the baths of Vena, <laughs> and like this underground hole in the wall, trying to get water in desperately. Seriously, not getting it here. Trying to make water flow in, make a, a bath of sorts, a jacuzzi, you know what I'm saying, right? Underground, but, but, yeah, I, I, I really don't get water. I mean, dug a huge ass hole under, under water level. <laughs> Come on, man. Now here we are in Elabor and Elabortus, and, and it's like, here, here's pseudonym. And I've always wanted to, to see his build, we, we saw it earlier, and, and now he's over here. We've got, we've got the Gleam Caverns. Over a lake, sunshine pouring through. I mean, at night, the gleam caverns will look beautiful over this lake, over over the build. So first, I'm gushing again about another build. This one is about to happen from another master builder, and um, <laughs> he's invited me to, uh, to 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 go ahead and, and and build an entrance. So this, as I was talking about before, is going to be the the baths of Eleportus. Here would be the entrance going in, and we would actually make use of this, like natural water for the baths, which will be amazing. <laughs> um, so that, that's a little bit, that's a lot more logical actually than the, than the crap I was thinking of. This is his big beacon, and you saw his, um, his stuff here, as you can see, right? So this build is gonna be awesome. And then, um, over here, I placed my beacon, so I'm going to link up to him right at the entrance, so at this entrance area, and I'm going to start making a pathway here. You see how the aqueduct by, um, okay, I might be pronouncing this incredibly wrong, and please correct me if, if I am, uh, Spoig, Spoig is, uh, extending this, uh, aqueduct this way. Uh, I'll show you where we are, actually. I mean, this recess. Um, in the, in the land mass is, is amazing. You can see the island over there where I'm building, right? And uh, Jeff's thing is right behind the house there. And so we have the uh, aqueduct from this area going down this way, going back up that way to a nod lady's place. And um, it's starting to stretch this way and this way. Over here is where it will lead to the baths, right? These uh, kind of a Roman, Roman bathhouse. And then, Here's where it levels out. Now, we were thinking, how about this? So, instead of like zigzagging it all the way down to this depression here, I carve through the mountain at this level, at, at road level. I carve through the hill, right? And let's say we go about up to about here. And here, at this point, we're gonna have like a clearing, like a, a pagoda or maybe some opening thing. So we want this to be like the bath gardens, right? There's gonna be gardens. Maybe there's gonna be hang gardens. Maybe there's gonna be just uh, uh, foliage and grass everywhere. We're, we're gonna make it more, mm, well, more lively. I'll carve down here to this 
and, and make an L shape and go straight down into here. So when you actually visit the baths, I mean, how about it? I don't know we have a gift shop, a uh, locker room, a place where you get towels, uh, slap people in the butt. I don't know. I don't know what people do in bathhouses in Rome. I'm thinking of not tunneling through per se, but like digging all the way down to that level. So we're going to try and make it open air. So, uh, so here, yeah, this is my second Elipor plot <laughs> that I'm going to, I'm going to try doing. Right. Also, Pseudonym has put everything out here. Okay. So this is the, these are the types of blocks, uh, he wants to work with. Let me see here. Okay. Um, all right. All right. And then twisted wood trunk. Okay. I'll start with the, I'll, I'll keep with the, uh, twisted wood, wood trunks to make trees and stuff like that. I was thinking, um, because Jeff gifted me some, uh, well, it's it's for communal use, I'm sure. Uh, uh, some red leaves, and I was thinking, okay, so with all this green, what's the co you know what's the uh, the color that goes against green would be red, right? It will make a a pretty good contrast to the natural green, the dark green, and the light green, and the yellowish hayish kind of colors that we see right now. But but yeah, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so I'm assuming right here, this is where the bath is actually going to be, right? This here, yeah. Yeah, that, that would make sense, the actual bath. This is, yeah, this is cool. What I am going to do is start marking places. So um, I'm going to have, let's see, this up so I can see what's happening. Actually, I'm going to do what the pros do. <laughs> I, should, um, I should put down a block, shouldn't I? Silty soil. Okay, I'll use silty soil. Oh, before I get on further with uh, digging out the actual path, look at this. This is this is natural. Okay, at night. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have the gleam as well. But <laughs> can you see this? Natural lighting. Right, going into the baths. I'd love to go to a bath like this. <laughs> So while I'm surrounded by master builders, I'm a complete nub. And yes, of course I left my tools on the island. Plus an emerald grapple that I don't know when I'll ever use because I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it's just so precious to me right now. Um, but I'm actually gonna go back to the island, pick up some stuff, uh, tools, and also I'm gonna do like the pros do and uh, get some of this cream gleam and uh, mark spaces with the cream gleam. I think it'll be a lot better. <laughs> Sorry, I must have been so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, that's so cool. They use slabs. Okay, so slabs are just like a little bit high, but not like too high. Because too high would be like kiddie pool, you know, I feel the warmth. Where Where's the pee coming from? Um, oh, and there's steps. Sweet. Okay, so this is where we're going. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's so sweet. Man, he's so fast. I haven't even marked my thing yet. Oh, this is so cool. So we have this at least laid out. We know that this is going forward this way. It's dead center. I would dig all the way down from here to who the hell knows what zero level is. Actually, you know what? It's simple. I'm not super stupid. We just press, uh, let's see. Let's go back to this level. Good. And then we press E or I, <clears throat> excuse me, and we go to locations, and I'm at level 64. I have the memory of a challenged elephant. I, let's see here, location 64 and 71. Got it. I can remember two numbers, right? No, I can't. I'm going to mark it down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the term noob is thrown around everywhere by 12-year-olds who are teabagging you or by, you know, actual veterans. I would like to show you an actual solid definition. There are no words. You see what is happening before you. This took the same amount of time that it took me to dig out this and put a couple gleam blocks down for markers. This couldn't have been 20 minutes. We were just talking about this place not too long ago and here it... it well, <laughs> the pressure is on. Well, look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's amazing what he can do. That didn't take uh, that didn't take very long at all. And if you take a look, so I go in, 
We got the pillars. We got the alcoves. With light coming from below. And right in here, everything changes color scheme. And we have the baths, which have these lovely steps going down into it. Right? And the cool thing is, if you just stay on this uh, slab over here, basically what you have is everyone can kind of like lounge on the edges. <laughs> and your head is above water. You kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm pushing forward through the mountain. I'm going to carve through. And I'm actually going to go one more plot forward. Alright, here we are with this new aqueduct leading down to the baths. The water is going to be released here. <laughs> alright, alright, ready, ready, ready. Yeah, they're all familiar with water physics now, so, you know, this is not like lava. Sweet, sweet. I'm going to go ahead and watch them come down. Come on. What? That's weird. There's a... There's spillage. <laughs> Spoiling and pseudonym were talking about safety. <laughs> Building safety and like not meeting regulations and tearing things down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'll probably be gone once it's re regen. Nice. Nice. Done. Sweetness. Sweetness and a half. Awesome. <laughs> I just like watching. He's trying to... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm sorry. I'll save you. I'll save you. <laughs> Holy crap. Where did you fall? Did you die? Uh, what just happened? Yeah, I hope you didn't have too many tools on you either. You. Oh crap! We were just trying to get you off that thing, but that was uh, that was a glitch. That emerald grapple, I really should try it, actually. That emerald grapple looks like it could fling me across the damn map. Right, so now Jeff is masterly crafting the spigot to the waterfall that is going to go on either side of the road. So basically, it's going to craft that. It's going to come down, and uh, like, so when I finally build this thing, um, it's going to come down here and here, and it's going to follow the side of the road. Lots of stuff have hap has happened with this thing, uh, this disgusting thing, but we are, we're, we're moving along. Um, the stairs will lead up and the waterfalls, Jeff came over and uh, knocked out the, the plugs, the stoppers, and boom, 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 out came the water. Uh, you can still see my two mini aqueducts. I was kind of um, stressed out about like, what am I going to do with the walls, man? The walls are disgusting. Right. Jeff came along and I asked him and he said, hey, why don't you do something like this? And I'm like, oh, interesting. Just kind of intermittent spurses of uh, foliage between the the rocks. And I'm like, wow, that's 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 really cool. You can see this little pathway. He's made a little lovely area in here. And guess what we're doing? We decided that it's going to be our little gift shop. Right? So, you know, you go to the baths or you come out of the baths, you can get like elopian bath towels. Wouldn't that be cool? You know? Get the pick up the bath towels here and then like go in, have a dip. What are you doing up there? How did you spawn up there? Yeah, I'm I'm I don't know, I'm expanding both purple and red. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh so far I'm not disgusted with it yet. I feel like actually the red and the purple they kinda complement each other. It's strange. Put it, like, right there. There we go. And then we have the moat. It comes through here. And underneath this bridge area... Ah, oh, it's all connected. It's finally shaping up. Like, it's looking like something. First things first. This road. Wanting to personally say I'm very proud of it. Because uh, this is the first time I've contributed to a road. Uh, I was given some of the blocks, right? Uh, definitely the said stone and the decorative 
Uh, but this wood, I went to Montine. I went to Montine 7 and harvested it myself and, and made the blocks just like a big boy. <laughs> Little things in life. I, I, I feel uneasy knowing that there's a spitter in the area. So I think I will clear that guy out first. Give me a second. Hey, Biache! Dead. And this is what it's looking like in the daytime. We're gonna go down these steps into this overgrown area. Let's, uh, 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 okay, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so we go through here and right into the baths. Look at that. Look at how amazing that is. It's open air, just how we like it. We got the lovely glowing foliage using pseudonym's trick. And we have the baths. I'm just gonna get in here and chill. Ah, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Hey, there's the back of my head. <laughs> uh, but this is this is quite nice. This is quite nice. Look at this awesome, awesome structure at the back. And the back is open too, so you can actually see out to the other side of the lake. So let's go there. Do do do. Isn't that pretty? And of course it's snowing. Under the gleam caverns. Wonderful. Wonderful. Nighttime. And it's so cool. We can see Jeff's awesome, awesome palace in the background there. That's so cool. So, yeah. So, this is um, how we're looking at, you know, what we're looking at right now. So, you can see over here, we do have a path that goes through uh, these platforms. You can actually get on these platforms. Not this one. This one's overgrown. But um, Jeff's idea with the sedimentary stone and the foliage for the walls is very good. Uh, my overhanging trees, though probably not complete, are... Well, you get the general gist of it. So let's go in here through past the aqueducts to this. I still like this. I really do. I really do. And then we have the stairs over there. The overgrown walls. I just finished patching up some grass to make the stones look like they were also overgrown. Um, you know, so you can still see the hints of the structures, right? I, I, I do like that, having the hints of the structures. Um, we can see it more clearly from outside here. Uh, look at that. You know, as crap as my build is, coming out to see this, it just makes my day. Look at that, under the gleam, under the starry night sky, You know, hints of the city, not too far, but not too close. This is like its private little place. The road will be lit, right? So it will be a little bit more inviting. Go in, and you know, you can see it right here. Um, the overgrown, the trees, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not the best, but it's definitely an improvement over my, my previous works. Now let's go and take a look at some of the other stuff. Also, I would like to say, uh, you can probably see, oh, I'm using a ruby sling bow, and I have a emerald grapple. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, that's because after pseudonym <laughs> made me go base jumping. Okay, just grapple the floor, grapple the floor. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Uh, I've been addicted to this stuff. I've been flying all over the place. This thing here is... I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, soul drops. Okay. I might be incorrect here, but this this weird thing and this ominous little hole that goes into the structure seems to be just made of full foliage. Let's go look at some more stuff. This. Let's take a look at this real quick. You know what? Let's let's take a look. Look at that. You can just fling yourself onto things. That's awesome. Look at that. An Orshan hand statue. Isn't that amazing? He's done hands before and that, that's just amazing. That is amazing. Let's just make sure that that's his and I'm giving credit to the right person. Yeah, 30 and still gaming. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's so wonderful. And as you can see, uh, a lot has happened here. And, 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 this is so cool. Look at this. 
Isn't this a really pretty, pretty build? Guess who this is? This belongs to Queen Nuts. Ah, oh, it's so cool to actually see her build. It's really, really fun. Look at it, all like the garden, the flowers that have been chosen and meticulously placed in specific positions. Again, I have not seen, I've said this before, but I have not seen, and I never thought mold or growth or whatever this is, uh, could be used in such a manner to look pretty. It looks pretty. And then you have the bench here with the green wood. That's so cool. You have the sculpture in the middle and some arches. It's very nice. And the tiling. The tiling. It's organic, but still not. I love it. You see, the aqueducts are pouring two waterfalls into her build. And, th and this, is, this is what the city has promised, right? With these aqueducts. They're not there just to be pretty. They are there and uh, to kind of, you know, uh, uh, provide these things for builds. I mean, isn't it amazing? Because we work as a community. What is this back here? Wow! What is this? But what is this? A little garden area in the back, and then they have... And then she has this... Oh, nice, a lamp on a, on a furnace thing. And then she has this structure, this sculpture in the back. Very pretty indeed. Alright, so let's actually take a look at some of the before and after. I mean, it hasn't been so long since I was invited here by Jeff. Do we have a friend here? Hey! No, don't pull me down! Don't pull me down! Don't pull me down! Yeah, Sudo is here somewhere. Be careful. He likes <laughs> pulling people off high places. And that was a hopper somewhere that just blew up. <laughs> you can see there's a huge gnash in the ground, right? A tear in the terrain. This chasm, this 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 crevasse was made again by another player it's a dungeon you actually go down into it and it is a, a, a it, it is an obstacle course pseudonym made this thing along with the help of Jeffro the Swell, Jeff Rothwell and also uh, DZ Chan and Spoig and <laughs> it's for the benefit of us players to go in and, and, and have a go at it, right? Apparently you jump down that well that I'm pointing at right now. It goes all the way down and then, yeah, well, we'll see what happens. That is going to happen in the next video, which uh, I did hint at was a collaboration with a certain awesome YouTuber. Um, speaking of that YouTuber, that's, this is Dan Before Time's uh, Gleam Tower that he's been doing on stream, which is so fun to watch. Is is really, really fun. So uh, let's let's keep going here. Anyway, I'm getting to another vantage point. We're gonna go back up to the island to get a better view. There we go. There's 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 the frame rate coming back. Maybe it's the grass. I think maybe it's the grass. But I love grass. Okay, well, uh, someone doesn't have a grapple. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you again what it was before. Right? I'm going to show you again what it was before. I don't think I have a shot from this angle, but I'll show you basically what it was before. And this, my friends, is what it is now. Now, I'm sorry, I can't do um, those amazing, amazing panoramic time-lapse sequences like uh, uh, Cook Viper. Cook Viper makes these awesome, awesome time-lapses. Uh, I'll, I'll also put his uh, link in the description below. Really, check it out. It, it really, really captures the beauty of this game and, um, and of the creators uh, that, you know, the, the structures that are made. It's just amazing. I thought from this angle, I'd like to, you know, go take a look at this thing again. Isn't this amazing? 
it's so beautiful in this angle. Okay, so another thing I would like to do is give props to uh, Afriel. She was the first one to give me some suggestions on my videos. Uh, and she said, hey, you know, when you're showing off a landscape or a panoramic and stuff like that, don't jiggle your mouse. Don't fly it all around the place, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. She wants to see the actual view. Another uh, tip was given to me by Pyre, also from the same gaming guild uh, in Singapore. And, um, and yeah, it, you know, it's, it, it was a trick to go use, uh, you know, smooth panning. So I can uh, smoothly pan across and actually see everything without, you know, uh, getting people all dizzy or uh, annoyed. Anyway, so we're going to go see a build from an awesome, awesome guy in the Europe servers. I might be butchering the name. SW Pro Z1 or SW Pro Zeal. I'm not really sure. But um, very, very fun guy. All right. So let's go. S oh, I think I think this is him. Let's, let's say hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> These guys are so fun. Oh, okay. He's got something else to show me. This tower. They call it the Trump Tower. I think this is Tiger's build. Awesome shop. It's a hotel. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is Solom. And, uh, oh, I didn't know this portal goes there. This should be, uh, oh, this is Tiger's. No. Bashing Spirits. Bashing Spirits. Very, very nice. Sell robots. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. How did you do that? <laughs> that's so cute! How did he get two spark cord things on top of each other? That is so cool! Place one and sell one. Oh, that's... You know, okay, SW Pro Z is awesome. Like, he's been teaching me a whole lot of little tricks. And I will show that in a dedicated video some, some other time. It's so cool. Oh, man. What? Wow! What what is that? That's not a slab, is it? Is it is it a half block? Maybe it is. Maybe this is a slab. But then on top of that, that's a spark. That's a power. Uh, the spark core, and then a flower on top. Just hit it very hard. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, it's always it's always so fun meeting these guys. Really, it is. Oh, and this thing. Okay, I wanted to talk about this later, but. But, you remember the obstacle course I was talking about, right? So, this is the tiger. This is tiger that I was, I was talking about. He did this cool thing where, you see this? You see this right here? Isn't this freaking awesome? Do you know what this is? This is a portal. Or a, a, a warp or whatever. You know, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. This is a portal that he's made. And it's powering. And it's in the side of his building. It used to be up there. He was testing it. But then he put it down here now. And from here... You can actually see, I think it's from uh, the, the Coin City uh, uh, sign. You see under there, there's like a black thing. I think that this, you, you can just look right through it and see the whole city. Now, this is exactly the idea that I thought was we could totally use this in the obstacle course. We could use it and we can use it for spectators. Right, so in each each uh, checkpoint area, we'll have one of these things where all the spectators will 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 be up, you know, topside, and look through a portal down below to what the spec, you know, what the the gladiators or the challengers are actually going through and how they succeed or fail and cheer on and all that stuff in chat. It's just got to be so amazing. Can you believe a game like this exists? Seriously, they they have so many things that that both the devs are making and the players are are finding out and and creatively using. It'll just blow your mind and uh, this one this is the thing this is the thing look at this wait wait till it loads I'm just gonna look off into the distance until it loads all right look at this he made a giant chessboard he made this amazing giant chessboard and he's planning something even bigger so uh, this is gonna actually be taken down I, I would never take down something this glorious but he's gonna actually take this down again isn't this awesome how servers different planets are connected seamlessly like this it's it's like he can see me you know I can I can wave hey man and he's waving too that's so cool any one of you guys who are actually playing this there's um, there's a uh, the screenshots in the forums uh, I'll probably link that down below as well this is just so cool man <laughs> uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not a chess board this is bound chess it's not boundless it's bound chess <laughs> <laughs> Some Scepterfon. He's going to actually give me a tour uh, of Scepterfon and a lot of cool things 
in this uh, on, uh, on this planet, I should say. All right, all right. So that's all the time we have today. Be sure to check out the next episode where I do my first collaboration with the amazing Dan Before Time and tackle the first ever player-made dungeon obstacle course in Boundless. <laughs> Damn, that's a long name. Uh, thank you guys so much, so much for supporting me and coming along on my derpy adventures. There's so much more to come. But until then, smell of spitter pheromones and scratch on. Ooh, I'm going to help this guy down here. I think that's an odd lady. Mm -hmm.